We're looking at the men's board final now. Another fantastic field. Some of the great names. Some of the names we've gotten so used to at these big championships at state level. Let's have a look at the start list and have a look at some of them. Tommy Atkinson from Newport. Hayden White, Marilla Barrick Point. And Dane Farrell from Allura. I'm sure we're going to be hearing about him at these state titles pretty soon. Ed Goulet from Terrigal. Keep an eye out from the redhead competitor, Stewie McLaughlin, while we've got Jack Moyes from Terrigal as well. Tommy O'Keefe from Allura there also. A great field, Wilco. This is pretty hard to call to, to have a clear-cut favourite. Yeah, I actually looking at that start list, I don't think I could pick out one guy who would dominate this race. Uh, Will Budd there from North Cronulla just won the under-19 board not long before this. Got Tom O'Keefe, Dane Farrell have just won the board rescue. The likes of Jack Moyes, Tom Atkinson, Hayden White. There's, you can't really say that there was one person who was a standout above anyone else. And you can see again the boys, they prefer to pretty much stay up on their knees to get maximum power, Wilco. Yeah, there is a difference in styles. Laying down, once you're actually out the back, clear of the waves, laying down will actually run the board nice and smooth. There's less resistance on the board, but you haven't got as much power. We see Stuart McLaughlin out there look, from Redhead, looks like he's out in front. He lays down the whole way. He's a lay down paddler, which is great in flat water out the back. Unfortunately, it's not as good though when you're trying to chase the runs in. He needs to get a good lead here first up because on the run home, the guys on their knees will catch him. Well, he's doing just that. The boy from Redhead, Stu McLaughlin, has indeed got his board in front, probably just a board length, maybe half a board length from the field. We saw Tommy Atkinson certainly up there as well, one of the lads from Bulleye. Pretty close cut thing at the moment, but this is where they need to get their noses in front because it does get pretty hairy on the turns, and we'll see it soon. When the field gets bunched up, it's on for young and old. That's right, and you'll see also, the same as with the women, a lot of the guys will choose to lay down when they come into the, especially the first turning can, because you've got all the competitors converging on one point, and it does get tight and are really bunched in there. There we are, Stewie McLaughlin, the first boy around. Yeah, now we see the push and shove. They're not going to give anyone an inch. Oh, look at it, arms everywhere, straight over the top of other boards. Tommy Atkinson nearly came off there. He did well just to hold firm, but quickly back in stride. Doesn't seem to bother him, but I fancy that happens a fair bit when the boys hit the cans. That's right, and that's exactly why you lay down. If you're on your knees and that happens, there's a good chance you're going to end up in the water and swimming. So everyone lays down, just safety first, get around the boys. Oh, here we are again. It's a traffic jam. Look at it in the field. Oh, we've got one guy almost off. Bit hard to tell just who it was there, but they really did hit some trouble. The field really banked up, and look what it's allowed the leaders to do. They have now broken the field up. Our leaders are away. The race well and truly on. Now they're headed for home. And that's why the start is so important. If you can get out into clean water, out in front, you miss that tra traffic congestion in there. And while they're bunching up, fighting each other, you're paddling away out in clean water. Where are the waves? You can see them just starting to build. Just starting to build. They'll be looking over their shoulders. They know they have to catch it. Here comes Scott McCartney. You can see in the Kujan headland colours. He's, oh, he's almost on top of that one. He's not. He's missed it. He's next to uh, our leader, though, Stewie McLaughlin, as we're back on board with our bulleye competitor, Tommy Atkinson. Look at the boys over their shoulders. They're hoping. They're praying, please bring a wave but they know that wave may bring the rest of the field up with them look at tommy atkinson working out it's building wilco here comes the wave and would you believe it one two three six competitors are on the wave what a finish we've got installed in the open men's final classic surf skills there as all six get on the wave we're in for a big finish here folks stay watching look at that we've got mclaughlin mccartney atkinson bud russell among these guys all on the last wave in it is going to be a sprint finish they're digging for everything who's got something left in the tank they pick up their boards they pick up their boards they're on their way to the low we've lost one there's only five left in it who has got something left in the tank oh it looks like it is dane farrell from allura has come from the clouds who has got second it looks like our man from allura has got it Stewie McLaughlin, he led all the way, only to see the wave bring the rest of the field up next to him. Six men on the race to the line. Who has got the points? Dane Farrell from Allura. There it is, Dane Farrell from Allura. Stewie McLaughlin has to be a bit unlucky there, coming in second from Red Ann. And Scott McCartney from Cudgeon Headland getting bronze here in the open male board. But it's Farrell's day. Well, Dane, you've got a uh, fair fan crew here this afternoon. Congratulations on taking out the open men's board. Uh, you were about six at the Cairns. You got a great wave in the end there to uh, bring you home. 
yeah, I uh, kind of dialed that way from nowhere. Um, was in sort of fourth, fifth spot, and it's lucky enough a wave popped up, so it's uh, good. And uh, a great carnival for you, third gold medal of the day, fourth of the carnival. Yeah, that's it. We've got the Ironman to go, so hopefully one more gold. We wish you all the very best for that one. Thanks for that.